Welcome back to Cup of Imperfection. Today I wanted to kind of uh, show you some of my favorite cleaning products. So if you're anything like me, it is springtime. I am definitely deep into spring cleaning around my house. So I just kind of thought it would be fun to kind of show you my absolute go-to ride or die products when it comes to cleaning, as well as some favorites that I found this year. So for me, when it comes to cleaning, I love products that are kind of like a, a multi-use, if you will. I'm not that big into products that only have like one single use. I do have a few of those that I do use, but most of the things that I use, I really love products that I can use in multiple areas of my house. That also cuts down the amount of stuff that you need to buy because you're only buying a few things versus a ton of different single use products. So I have kind of adapted more of a work smarter, not harder kind of thing when it comes to cleaning because who really has a ton of time to devote to cleaning in their life? Like most people really don't. You squeeze it in when you can, you know. My schedule probably looks a lot different than your schedule. So the kind of cleaning that I do versus the kind of cleaning you do might be completely different, but we can all use the same kind of products. So I just wanted to come on here and show some of my favorites. So one of my favorite things to use would be a Lysol all-purpose cleaner. Can you see it? There we go. Okay, yeah, the Lysol all-purpose cleaner. I use this on so many different areas of my house. This is definitely one of the things that I keep around and I have used for years. They also have a disinfecting wipe by Lysol. Um, it's essentially very similar, but it's in one of those handy dandy white containers. So, these are also very awesome. You can use them anywhere, honestly. You can use them on electronics, in your bathroom, in your kitchen, you know, throughout your house. There are so many different uses of this kind of stuff. I love this as well. So one of the products that I found more recently than not, but I use all the time, is um, something I actually found during the pandemic era. Uh, we are still kind of in that, but, um, you know, uh, earlier in the pandemic, everyone knows it was kind of hard to find certain things, especially cleaning products. And I was having a hard time finding the Lysol all-purpose spray. So I found this product and I uh, tried it and I absolutely adore it. It is the Windex brand multi-surface disinfectant cleaner. So all of the cleaning products that I use to clean, you know, is your disinfecting cleaning products. That's what I personally prefer when I'm cleaning stuff off. I wanna make sure they are as germ-free as humanly possible. <laughs> and that is something that really I did pre-pandemic time and I have just probably done a little bit more than I did before. So anyhow. Windex Multi-Surface Cleaner. This stuff is awesome because, you know, if you try to use the Lysol product on something like windows or something, it's gonna streak, it's gonna leave a film. You know, if you're cleaning mirrors or something like that, that's not really good for that. But this guy here cleans so well. I use this to dust my house. I put it just on a paper towel and I'll wipe down all of my surfaces that I'm dusting. I use it on my windows and my mirrors um like little knickknacks and stuff this stuff works so great it keeps things nice and clean disinfected and shiny i absolutely love this stuff here so other than really like toilet bowl cleaner those are the main products that i clean when i actually clean my house so that's kind of my my go-to's something that i'm sure you have seen on the internet that I did finally get sucked into and buy is the pink stuff. I kept seeing so much stuff on the internet about this and finally I said, you know what, it's spring cleaning time. I am going to try this because I keep seeing it everywhere. Do I think it is, as they say, the miracle cleaning paste in the way that the internet 
kind of hypes it up? No. Has it definitely cleaned um, things that I was having problems with cleaning before? Yes, definitely. I used this um, in my oven on the, the glass door of the oven. When we moved in, um, the, the stove, it, it's a built-in. So the stove was there when we moved in and there was a ton of stuff on it that I have tried so many different ways and products and you know all kinds of stuff on it and I've never been able to get it super duper clean. I've gotten some of the grease off and all of that, some of the stains and whatnot on the glass off, but I've never been able to get it fully clean. It is still not fully clean, even with the pink stuff, but it is a lot better than it has ever been the entire time that we have lived in this house, which has been over 10 years. <laughs> so I would definitely say I'm happy with this for that. I have also used it on other areas. I used it on the shower doors. Um, we have glass shower doors um, for our bathtub and it worked very well on there. You just have to make sure that when you are using this on something like glass, you don't rub too hard because it is slightly abrasive. So you don't want to scratch the surface. And really that goes with anything that you use it on. You just, you can't scrub too hard with it. But yes, in, in the uh, bathtub on the glass, it did work very well. It did leave a little residue. So I had to go in with like the uh, Windex and re-clean the shower doors, but this did get a lot of stuff off and it's definitely brighter and uh, looks and feels cleaner than I have gotten it with anything else that I've used. I also used it um, on my kitchen counters. They are the old original counters from the house. I'm assuming anyhow, it's very dated looking. They're, they're white with these little like blue star things. Our house is from the 60s. It's, I think it's hideous. And since it is more of a white countertop, it does get dingy and it very easily stains like if you're cutting up strawberries or something and just the teeniest tiniest bit of juice from the strawberry gets on the counter there's a little pink spot that kind of stays there it's awful and you know with a lot of elbow grease i've been able to get that stuff off before but i put this stuff on the counters let it sit for a little bit scrubbed it not very hard and our countertops were probably the whitest that they've ever been. So again, I do think this stuff works in the right setting. I don't think it works on everything like they kind of hype it up to be, but it's definitely worth checking out. So that's pretty much the cleaning products that I use for cleaning supplies. Um, I'm gonna go over those as well. One of the old standbys I'm sure you have used before, your little Scot Scotch-Brite uh, scrubby sponges. You know, the, the yellow on one side and green on the other. So yeah, I'm sure you guys have used these before. They're very common, definitely useful. I love to keep these around in the house. So something else that I found this year, um, I ordered these on Amazon. They're from the brand OXO. And it was a uh, like cleaning brush set, whatever you wanna call them, it's like deep cleaning. So you have um, this one here that has a nice angle on it. This one is fantastic, y'all. I love putting like my finger here and you can like really do that without hurting your wrist or your arm so much as, you know, needing to scrub with a straighter thing. I adore the fact that it has the little curve. It just makes it so much easier and it's nice stiff bristles. Like this cleans really, really good. And this other one is made similar. It's smaller. I don't know if you can really tell, but yeah, the, the center of it raises and it's kind of um, thinner in the center so you can get into like um, edges and stuff and in between tile and stuff with this one which works well and then also on the other side it has this like um it's it's bendable and it's kind of like a, a silicone thing that you can get like underneath the lip of something uh, this one is really cool as well if you guys follow me on Instagram you may have seen me post about this one because I was really excited when I tried it. I know it's like the most simple thing in the world, but it's awesome. This thing is a blind cleaner if you've ever seen them. I found on Amazon, it was relatively inexpensive. There's this 
plastic thing here. And this is just almost like a slip cover. It's microfiber and it comes with several of these. So you can just literally throw them in your um, washing machine, clean them up, reuse them. Awesome. You just slip it into your blind, slide it across, like squeeze it like a tong, slide it across. Easiest thing in the world. This has cleaned my blind so much better than I've ever been able to do it before. I know I've seen these before. I don't know what took me so long to buy something like this, but thousand percent recommend. So the next thing that I wanted to talk about, I recently discovered this one as well. And again, I don't know if you've used this kind of stuff before, but I am blown away by this item. It is a pumice, can you read that? A uh, pumice cleaning stone um, by uh, Power Stone. It comes in this little case and you open it up. This one I have used. So it is actually the whole size of the inside of here when you get it. It's kind of like a, a chalky-ish kind of pumice stone and you can use this to scrub your toilets. You can use it um, to scrub um, something like porcelain or whatever. Um, I have used it in my sink in like our bathroom. There was a, a rust stain inside the sink and I used that and it worked fabulous. You don't have to use a whole lot of elbow grease um, if it's just something small. It just kind of wipes away so easily. Um, I have also used it in a toilet and the toilet, again, it's one of those things where we moved in. There was disgustiness left over from previous owners. So one of our toilets had a bunch of like disgusting buildup, if you will, on the inside. And I have used so many things throughout the years to try and clean it. I've never been able to get it out of there. Luckily, it is in the master bathroom, so nobody sees it but my husband and I, so yay for that. But I have used that pumice stone on it, and I am working at it, and I am slowly getting that stuff off of there. I have never thought I was going to be able to get that toilet clean, but that is taking a lot of effort because it's kind of thick in areas. I know that's kind of gross, but we're talking about cleaning, so... Cleaning can get gross sometimes. <laughs> Anyhow, I love that. I definitely recommend that as well. So the last thing I really wanted to bring up was a set that I found on Amazon with different cleaning brushes. So I'm going to show you the uh, different types of products that are in there. There's this guy here, which is really cool. I honestly, I haven't had a chance to use it yet, but it's like a scrub brush, but it's bendable. Look at that. How cool is that? Like this, I could see a lot of uses for, especially like, um, say in your sink or something where you're trying to get around like the curb or whatever. I could see this being very useful. I think it's super cool. I can't wait to try this guy out. There is a brush that came with it, um, that I haven't used yet as well. The only reason I haven't is this is like one of those crevice kind of brushes. And I tried the XOXO one for what I needed that has, you know, the, the bristles that come out a little bit more. So I haven't had a chance to use this one yet because I was using the, the uh, OXO one. So I will try this one out. I definitely see this being useful. I just haven't needed to yet. There's like this scouring pad. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of rough. This thing is pretty awesome. Um, I found quite a bit of uses for this. One of the things that I actually used it for was on like our, our dining room table and chairs. You know, food gets splashed on the floor, things, you know, splash on the legs of your chairs and your table and stuff like that. If you're anything like me, that stuff doesn't get cleaned too often. Yes, I clean off the top of my table and stuff like that, but like the, the legs and the backs of the chairs and all of that is not something that I clean that often. So when I have been doing my spring cleaning, I tried this guy out. I used the Lysol and this here, and I scrubbed at it. This is rough, like I said, but it's not like super rough where it was going to damage the wood. And it cleaned the uh, table and chairs fabulously. Love this guy. And my favorite part of that is this cleaning brush. So I'm gonna show you the new one. It comes with two of these. 
All right, so you have a nice long handle. You have just kind of like a basic looking brush. And then there's this scrubby thing up here, which is just hard plastic. So you gotta be careful what you use that on. But this brush I love. This is the one that I've been using. It is destroyed. As you could tell, I love this guy. I have used this on so many different things. I've used it on tile. I've used it on um, linoleum floor to scrub and really get into like little crevices and stuff. I have used this thing on so many different things. I love it. I am actually considering buying a whole new pack just so I can have more of these because this is one of those things that I am just, I'm gonna keep around for a long time and I am going to continuously use this because I've already used this so many times as you can tell. So there you have it guys. That would be like my favorite cleaning products and supplies of right now. If there is anything else that I find, I will definitely let you guys know. But right now, that's honestly what I use to clean my house. I will try to link anything that I can down below if you're interested in checking any of that out yourself. You know, I am not affiliated with any of these products. I just honestly love them and you know want to tell you guys about it if you try them out and you really like it please let me know and if there's anything that you recommend for me as well also let me know i am always on the hunt for cleaning products that make my life easier things that get the job done quick and easy with as little energy as possible and as little time that is like where i am at with my cleaning thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.